Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. So the first thing we we'll want to do is go into Orc Framework and go to the status, status value, health and change the death on to none. Click the save settings and close the editor. Now let's go back to the battle manager script and on top let's create a new list to hold a reference to the enemies in the battle. So list combatant is going to be enemies and let's instantiate or uh, start adding enemies to this list in the start battle event uh, not the start battle but the, the start method of the uh, mono behavior so here let's add enemies it's going to be equal to org game combatants get and we want to get all the enemy combatants so let's pass in the first place the leader of the group org game active group leader and we set it to consider is that to false we pass null as um, the third argument we pass consider yes if I can type consider no consider yes again and null for the last parameter so what we are telling here is that uh, we are passing the current user combatant, the leader group. We don't want to add a player group. We pass null as a range. We consider yes, just give me enemies. Um, give me only the ones that are not dead and the ones that are in the battle. That's what we are doing here. So we are populating this uh, list of combatants and then we iterate through each of those so for each combatant C in enemies list we register to a org uh, status event which is called so let's iterate to it so C status we have access to the combatant status component and here we call the our combatant status value org constant and this is going to be the health so it will retrieve the index of this status then we check the value change event and we register to it so battle manager and let's let me change here the name of the method enemy health value change there we go so it's here let me remove this draw no implement exception so every time the health changed is going to call this method and we are going to uh, have access to the combatant the initial um, value of the status and how much it changed but what we're going to do here is having this game object or sorry this component here we're going to check if the status again checking the health so let me just copy this section here so we get get value we get the current health and we compare whether the current hell is less or equal 
to combat combatant status health but in this case we get the minimum value and these are uh, org internal methods functions if that is so so we are less or equal to the minimum value of the health then we can consider this combatant and change the status to death so we call the death method okay battle started enemy killed so let's save our changes and let's go back to unity let's hit ctrl p or play to start the game and let's go to chomper once again remember that we already said that it won't die on minimum in the status so it is just a matter to kill it so let me click on F8 to see the actual health to 90 and it's dead so we successfully handling death of jumper from script the next fix that we need to handle is when um, finalizing the the battle we see that the blue schema is the the one left in the battle scene so if we accept the gains and we go back to the to the main scene, the staging scene we lost the combatant here so let's and also actually the blue schemata is, is um, instantiated and we don't want that we want to keep the original schema that we had when we started the battle so let's click here on F select the schema and press in the scene view F here is the schema and we also have this issue about the third person input to be disabled so we need to check on that one in order to um, the camera work again but anyways let's fix that in the next video thank you for watching and if you consider you are learning something and you like the videos please consider subscribing and uh, supporting the channel in Patreon bye bye